Today on this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at something that I am super excited to be showing off today. That's right, we're checking out the newest generation of the Santa Cruz Blur. This is the 2022 model of the Santa Cruz Blur C Carbon S Builds in the TR Trail version. So we're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this bike. We'll talk about the whole array of things that they've changed for 2022. And then of course, we're gonna find out exactly what this weighs. And if any of the rumors are hype or true, this is gonna be an absolutely killer bike. So stick around with me and let's get into the bike. So the Santa Cruz Blur TR is their trail oriented version of the Santa Cruz Blur. But before we get too far into that, let's go ahead and talk about this new model. So the Blur has been around for three generations and this is now the fourth generation. So sometimes you might see this referred to as the Blur 4. And this model is gonna come in two varieties. The XC version, which runs 100 millimeters of front suspension and then 100 millimeters of rear suspension. You'll see the Blur TR, like we're looking at here, which runs the same frame, but an elongated shock to 120 up front and a longer stroke rear shock to bring the rear end to 115 millimeters. And then finally, they've added in the women's Juliana line, the Wilder, which is essentially a Blur TR, just with some changes to make it women specific. So with the Blur coming in an XC and a TR version, the geometry is gonna come out just a little bit different. Now in the XC version, you're gonna run a 68.3 degree head tube angle and a 75.8 degree C tube angle with a chain stay ranging between 430 and 438 millimeters based on the size of the frame. But when you go out to the TR version of this bike, you'll notice the head tube angle slackens out to 67.1, seat tube angle slackens out to 74.9, and then the chain stay runs roughly the same at 431 to 438 millimeters. And the switch from the XC to the TR, because they're running the same frame, and you're elongating that rear shock, raising the front end, that means that the bike is gonna get slacker both in the head tube and the seat tube. The bottom bracket height is gonna get just a little bit taller between the two, and then the reach of the bike is effectively gonna get a bit shorter. Now, the Blur series, I've personally had the Blur 3, and this new frame is an obvious departure from what you got on the earlier versions. And the most major thing that you'll notice in that is gonna be the setup with the suspension. So you'll notice no longer in the back do you have Santa Cruz's VPP suspension. Instead, you've got their new suspension called the Super Light, which is basically a single pivot rear suspension that utilizes some flex stays. Now, the Super Light is also a name you might recognize from Santa Cruz because back in the day, that used to be their super light single pivot XC style of bike. So it's cool to see them renaming the suspension with that. But right here, you've got one pivot just above where the crank set goes, goes back. And then you can see this is a solid rear triangle. Now, what's neat about it is the seat stay here has this ovalized shape to it. And you can see that that's gonna allow the back end of the bike to have a little bit of flex, allowing this linkage driven shock to be able to perform really well. One thing that's interesting to mention here is the bike doesn't rely heavily on anti-squat, but instead it uses a leverage curve that's gonna help this pedal pretty well and keep the suspension design a lot more efficient. On the suspension topic, we're checking out this Box 34 fork. This is a step cast performance version of the shock, which means this has that really narrow perspective. You can see how tight it is around these 29 inch tires, but you're still running a 34 millimeter stanchion. This is also gonna be using the grip damper. So you've got an adjustable grip damper. And then on the other side, you're gonna have their float evolve air canister. And that would comprise what comes on the suspension for the Blur TR. Now, we should talk a bit about the category of this bike. So it definitely slots into a more capable XC bike and maybe even a tamed or a little more basic trail bike. And while Santa Cruz doesn't call it a downcountry bike, it obviously falls pretty cleanly into that category. 
And with the world coming where we expect a lot more out of each bike and a lot more capability, it's really neat to see that they're adding options and capability to their XC trail bikes. Now the new frame, having that single pivot setup is gonna allow it to be quite a bit lighter than before. This version we're looking at here is the C version of the frame. They do of course make it in a higher end CC version. And basically that's gonna be a difference in some of the quality of the carbon on the frame. They're both gonna ride similarly, but the CC of course is gonna run quite a bit lighter. And Santa Cruz claims that from the CC on the Blur 3, the previous gen, and the CC of this Blur 4, you're gonna save 289 grams simply on that carbon frame, which that's really incredible. I mean, that's well over half a pound and gonna be a significant difference in weight. The other neat things that happen with the single pivot setup are gonna be little features such as having two water bottle mounts. So you can see on the seat tube here, you've got a mount for water bottles. On the down tube, you've got a triplicate mount so you can mount the water bottle up or down or even one would say a box or a multi-tool attached to it. You can see that this aluminum linkage is that's so thin and super light, which is really cool looking driving that Fox Float DPS shock. And then a few other things that I like about this bike is of course gonna be this integrated one-up chain guide. It's neat to see that it is branded, it's integrated into that chain stay. You of course then have your chain stay protector, which has these little ribs on it so that when the chain comes down and comes in contact, it's not coming across something flat. So it'll help keep the drivetrain a lot more quiet. And then of course, you've got this internal cable routing for the cables. And it sneaks through in a real clean fashion, much more clean in my opinion than the Blur 3, making for the frame to be aesthetically a lot more pleasing, at least in my eyes. And of course, because this is the S-level build, it's gonna be set up with the GX group set. So this has the newer gray color that you see on the Lunar group set. Although it is still running the 10 to 50 tooth rear cassette rather than the 52 tooth. And I think that makes sense on this bike, especially with a 34 tooth narrow wide up front, because that setup is going to be great for XC racing. Now I should mention the crank set is in the frame using a threaded bottom bracket, which is always nice to see. And then the bike's rolling on these AR27 wheels. So these are gonna be a race face wheel for a hub. It's running an E13 hub. And with the 27 millimeter internal width, with the Recon Race 29 by 2.4 wide trail, you can see that these are a very voluminous, wide XC style tire. Bit more traction, bit more rolling resistance than what you might find on the standard Blur XC. But personally, I think it matches up well with the bike. Cockpit wise on the S build, you've got SRAMs, Atmos stem and handlebar, nice flat XC style handlebar. And then out back, you've got the WTB Volt saddle that's mounted up on this RockShock reverb seat post. Seat post is a dropper post using a hydraulic one by style lever. And then you can see they've got it mounted up with Matchmaker, both for the shifters, dropper post, mounting up to these SRAM level TL brakes. This is a good quality XC style brake. It's gonna be twin piston, front and rear, running hydraulic DOT fluid. So now that we've taken a look at this bike, let's go ahead and find out exactly what it weighs. The actual weight for a Santa Cruz Blur CS build comes in and weighs 26.39 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Santa Cruz Blur TR. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this new 2022 Blur model. Let me know what you think about the Blur TR versus the XC. And then finally, go ahead and let me know any other thoughts down in the comment section below. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.